We've been following the story of Phantom Creek Estates for the last three years. It's gone from a big pile of sand and a giant hole on the Black Sage Bench to a spectacular South Okanagan lookout. If you think the outside's exciting, wait until you see the inside. How does it feel to have the doors finally open at Phantom Creek? Well, we're very excited to start uh, welcoming guests and allowing them to visit this very special place and taste the dedication and precision that has gone into producing our wines. Uh, for us, it's all about the details. I love the details, but let's start with the entrance here. It's quite amazing. Behind us, we have Terra Natura, which is uh, by Chinese artist Wu Jingju, and which literally means Mother Nature. If you look at the two angels, it looks like they're rising from the earth, like two ancient vines. The philosophy, you know, just kind of represent and mimic the philosophy that we're trying to follow in our vineyards and in our farming. There's also the Phantom Creek uh, feature, which uh, speaks to the ephemeral creeks that used to run through this valley during uh, following the glacial uh, age which uh, left behind the sandy loam soils that uh, we have here today and make the Black Sage Bench such a special place. What's available for visitors here? Guests who are interested in taking the tour, they need to make a reservation. This is a 90-minute tour that starts on the vineyards, uh, walking guests through our art on the exterior of the winery, and then going into the different rooms where we make wine, from fermentation to aging, and finishing off with a tasting of six of our wines. So if you were to characterize the, the soul or the heart of Phantom Creek, how would you describe what you're doing here? Well, we specialize in Bordeaux Reds and Alsatian Whites, uh, all of them coming from single vineyard expressions from our different sites. And out of each vineyard, we're trying to produce cuvées at the very top of each vineyard, which are the best expression of that particular terroir. Mm -hmm but we are also producing single varietal, uh, single vineyard wines uh, from, from those vineyards. We have a lot of options from our estates. Uh, we currently own six different vineyards. Four of them are in the Black Sage Bench on different areas, one of them on the Golden Mile, and as I mentioned, one of them on the Similkameen uh, Valley. Well, we passed through the Similkameen on the way here. You've made already some interesting white wines from other parts of the valley. What, what, what's going on in the Similkameen? We were looking for a permanent home for our uh, white grapes, and after looking for a few years, we decided to uh, you know, uh, settle on the Similkameen, which is a little bit cooler, with a uh, terroir that we think is more conducive for uh, the white wines that we're focusing on, Pinot Gris and Riesling. And we're very excited about that vineyard. It's just the newest addition to, to the state. So you have a new winemaker from New Zealand. What can you tell us about Francis? We really conducted a global search looking for this very critical position. And what we liked about Francis is uh, his experience working with terroir-driven wines in uh, Central Otago, which has very similar char characteristics to the Okanagan. Uh, and also his significant experience with organics, which as you know, is a big area of emphasis for us. I'm really interested to know why you chose to come to the Okanagan. It was this intent set out by the owners of uh, Phantom, looking for quality and looking for excellence. And they started in the vineyard, you know, with organics and biodynamics. We've got a lot of organics and biodynamics in New Zealand, but for me, this was one of the most exciting projects globally. There's this buzz here, there's an energy. Everyone wants to make the best wine possible. Uh, the vineyard manager, the people that work in the vineyard, they love good wine and they want to make good wine. I just see uh, a constant movement towards this, which is energizing. We talked about the details at the beginning. They are all complete. Uh, there will be a grand opening shortly. Yeah, we're planning our uh, grand opening uh, pretty soon here. I mean, as you know, the winery has been open. We've been making wines, but in addition to that, and the hospitality center, 
We'll also be uh, featuring our uh, restaurant and the amphitheater for uh, 500 people uh, where we're hoping to do some uh, concert series uh, during the summer. Well, it's been a fun three-year journey now that you're open, but what's next at Phantom Creek? Well, our vision is to become the leading winery in Canada, and so I'm very excited about uh, uh, the process and the journey to get us there.